Martin's eye. Tell Martin the wildest thing you saw on this trip. Oh, we wow. Took. What a life. The wildest thing I saw Don't on this trip. Think hill? about it. The hey. wildest. Hey. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Can we say it? What? Go ahead. What's the wildest Have thing you saw? Have we started the podcast? Yeah, we've started. Welcome the back. The wildest I sound thing funny. I seen on this trip to Lubbock, Texas, was a fine little young lady. Oh, Lord. Okay. Okay, look. And she, she made... She could be a turkey. She blow your hat off your head? Yeah, what are you wearing? <laughs> I'm, I'm wearing my flowersgeneral.com hat. Oh, uh, for all the... Out, for, and it hung, oh, my beard's it, hung it. There we yeah, go. I got hung up. For all y'all uh-huh. not watching on YouTube, I si had his hat on top of his headphone. I don't know what he's doing. The boys can He's switching hats again. And now he's moving microphones. He'll be my back with us in just okay. a second. All right, we're back. And, hey, look, uh, we went to Lubbock, Texas this weekend. Me, Philip, and Jimbo Lindsay. Home of the Red Raiders. That's right. Home of the Red Raiders, which, I hate to say it, boys, the Wyoming Cowboys beat them. Double overtime, I think. Double overtime. It yeah. was a great game, but they got beat. Okay. Giddy up. That's the best. No, and here's the thing. It was FlyerGeneral.com sponsored the event. Yeah. Okay, which I am a... Goodwill, Goodwill and Battlestar up. Okay. As you should be. Look at that hamburger meat hanging out that jersey. I like it. <laughs> ain't more like hamburger hey, meat. More like taco oh, meat. Boys. But it'd be all right. Hey, but let me tell you something. Cy, si, uh, Jimmy Lindsay, y'all know Jimmy, but did you know Jimmy used to work for Duck Commander? I did. Building reeds. I Jimmy, didn't know that. Jimmy was probably very sad Sunday night, wasn't he? Oh, LSU? Yeah. Oh, heartbroken. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Heartbroken. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't very good. No, no. that was terrible. Oh, yeah, me and Si was. listened to it yep. driving back from Lubbock, Texas, and we were we had to turn the game off because Si couldn't listen to it anymore. Oh, it was awful. That's right. It was. It, it was terrible. It was rough. But whatever. It was just first weekend. But the three days we had was wonderful. And everyone involved had a big time, okay, because we killed. We limited out three days in a row on the doves. Even Phillip? Even hey, Phillip. hey! Yeah. Even Philip. Philip did oh, yeah. a lot he of one one. picking birds up. He killed one. Oh, one. you was a dog. I, I was the shooter and the dog. You ever been there? <laughs> I have. <laughs> you no. Know, so on the way over, so I was like, I don't know how I'm going to hit them, boys. I, I just hadn't shot in a while. I got my twenty gauge, yeah. and he shot lights out well, that's for the, two days in a row. Yeah. I Second, mean, third day. But y'all third hunted day. three days. Well, well he, yeah. he he did get his limit on the third day. But the first two days, he got it in like an hour. Less than that. Went to a hot hole. It was. It the was, whole it state was. of Texas is a hot hole for oh, yeah, for, for game. Yeah. We've seen quail. We've seen deer. We've seen pheasant. We've seen doves. The more the more important question is, do you have any of them soaking in the W sauce to fire on the we, grill? I, and what time do, do I need to be there? I, we, I, I do not have it soaking in the W sauce. But we have but it. But Jay Stone has it soaking. In W sauce, and it's uh, what is that thing that sucks all the air out of that vacuum, vacuum pack? sealer? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. vacuum pack. And then, hey, in a couple of days, he's gonna put them on the grill with bacon. What day? Cream cheese. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh-uh, uh. Uh-uh. Oh, that's a secret. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to get weeded out <laughs> hey, on that one. Ah, oh, man. Philip actually gets to go this Hey, you time. know, I've always thought, I think this would be a really good idea to film a podcast around Stone's Grill. Uh-oh. <laughs> when uh, the doves are coming. Yeah, oh, that would uh-oh. be a good now, Wouldn't podcast. everybody just love to hear us just gnawing down on <laughs> I the I know Hunter no, would love to. No, because they'd stole? all be mad. I would know Hunter would just, just like he loves the sound of hair on the microphone. Yeah. I would prefer it if he didn't. Oh, here it's we all go. the same. Welcome I do, back, Hunter. I do have something I can add to that. All right, uh, add to it. I found something. What'd you find? Fine. Yesterday. Okay. Because we all know Mac Owen has a famous recipe. Uh-oh. Yep. Nobody else knows. Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. Well, I found a card that said Carla Owen, Mac Owen's mother, Angel Biscuit Recipe. Uh oh, Angel Biscuit. I now possess it. Man, I'm not telling you. We're not going to put it on there. No, no, no. I'm new Mac, man. Hold You got to finish this, son. I have the recipe. I haven't made it yet. <laughs> yeah. I, said, hey, I found it. I got to finish this, uh, buddy. I, yeah. I, before I smack you. Now I've got like blue biscuits or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I this. Don't know that was <laughs> hey, you think so it hurt? Stupid. He, he come up with a <laughs> no, but I, I I found it last night. Uh, Angel biscuit. My parents' house. Okay. Angel biscuit. My mom pulled out a super old thing of recipes. We were looking through it. I found Max, aka my grandmother's. 
Angel Biscuit. Angel Biscuit. Because nobody else knows it, I don't think. And everybody just thought it was Max, and he wasn't telling nobody. Well, well this, is all, this is all just a bunch of talk unless you bring them up here. I'm going and to. And we're going to wrap them. Cook in, them. And we're going to put up. some Dove in the middle of them. Oh, yeah. Oh, we can. Yeah. yeah. We can do whatever we want. Dove biscuits. Oh, no. Split them in half with a Dove with jalapeno paper. I, Beth oh. always brings chicken Jeez. biscuits. But, oh, wow. Yeah. He, he got scratched you good. me. That's good. I, hey, I started to knock you out if you didn't finish what you were talking about. Yeah. File a complaint. HR. Hey, hey. But I can. I did find the I have it. I have the call. He had, the it's got a is, call for like lard or something. Yeah. And no, and the trick to right? it is you cook it in the little flip biscuit cooker. Well, you can, but he's got oh, a regu- no, he got a regulation oven. That's the no, f- forget I got the a pizza oven. oven. I'm gonna cook them in there. And yeah, oh I, wow! Forget the forget the oven. Cook them in the flip biscuit. So when we right. got to town, Shaggy brought us to his place, Los Brisas. They cooked us good steak. They gave us food. They brought us banana Foster for yeah. dessert. Yeah. But when Sai ordered his steak, he said. I want it medium plus. Oh, wow. And, oh, look, no. and right. so Si talked to the owner, Shaggy, and then they brought the cook out. That's right. They brought the shelf. And they said medium plus is where it's at. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They said, thank That's you, Si, for sh- teaching us about medium yeah. plus. Oh, wow. Because the first thing I did, I told him about it. What did the cook look like? Oh, no. Cook oh, was a, I, a big boy. Big, he knew big how to cook. chubby feather. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, big chubby feather. <laughs> hey, look. Hey, chubby <laughs> fella. Oh, yeah, okay, feather. okay, okay, okay. Okay, hey, you know the food's going to be good when the boy that, that cooks it is chubby. Mm-hmm. Okay, and he was, a, he was on the heavy side. That's why Johnny D's Where's them biscuits, hey, biscuits Johnny D? Hey, <laughs> do not trust a skinny cook. I don't. That's why I look hey, like. That's it. I'm telling you. So I guess how many pizzas I cooked this weekend. Because oh, I got that pizza? fancy pizza oven. Have you got one in fancy pizza oven? I got one now. Uh-oh, he's got one now. Yeah. I could well, one of you going to have pizza. Hey, what are you going to have? In two nights. Why you wife, have your wife made pizza. that much dough? I made the dough now, oh, too. Did? I oh. made the dough the oh, next Oh, you day. made the dough, I don't, too? She does the sourdough. I do the regular dough. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm, I'm, we're there. I'll put my pizza up against anybody. Uh-oh. So why did you make 12? Because I got friends, I guess. I, uh, and I've he's got, got friends. I'm gaining places. weight, and I'm just rolling with it at this point. Well, hey, here's what you got to do. Yep. You got to cook. Okay, homemade pizza. Yeah, I can do it. And make and bring it to the pocket. And homemade biscuits. And homemade, I, oh, and I can homemade do biscuits. Both the, yeah. I'm making them biscuits soon, though. Now that you have the secret in place. Now that You've I have the recipe. as a caterer. But I have to, hold on now. The biscuit thing I ain't never done before, so that, I might have to dial that in. No, that's fine. No. Uh, the yeah. pizza thing. You got it down? Look, I'm in. Okay. He's I, in. I'm a lot of things He's cooking. done. I'm not a baker. Like hey, being a, a certified baker is like being an artist. It's and, not. And easy. I, JD um, has done up up the game above. Women maybe for homemade pizza. We got to taste. That's it. what he's telling. I'll bring take, your own. Oh toppings. no, yeah, I'll take him on any day. Uh, uh, see, that's what I'm telling. Well, the problem with Willie and pizzas is he generally doesn't do it for himself or in a small enough batch. He's going to have to do yeah. like thirty of them, and at some point yeah. he just gets tired of it. And yeah, and maybe short changes this a little bit. Well, no, he, he does. No, no, no. Willie does your the first. opposite. Yeah, he starts sloppy and then finishes strong because he wants to eat the last two that oh. come off. So, but, but you, his pizzas are, are like. A pyramid. Yeah. There's there are a lot of going on. A lot of distractions. The man invented ode to pork. Yeah, lots of distractions. We all know it's <laughs> lots of distractions. He keeps adding stuff and he uh, really puts the tinsel straight. That's yours? That's my pizza. Oh my That looks Lord. pretty bad, J D. Wow. Bad, 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 bad being a good thing. Added to the bone. Yeah, yeah, bad to the bone. Yeah, I, Oh man. I like it. Are those candied jalapenos? Ooh. Uh no. My wife does the candied jalapenos. Ooh, I do the si, that's your favorite. Hey, you want got, candied jalapenos on yours? I, oh, yeah. Oh, I'll make any kind of jalapenos. And pepperoni. Pizza, I'm about to start a restaurant. Banana uh, pepper. Out of the back of the fishing store. Yeah, them look bad as a bone. Well, buddy, look, if you put that thing in one of them yeah. little Hunts Brother boxes, your boy yeah. will come by there and get one before he goes fishing. Yeah. Honey, oh, worms, to. crickets, and pizza. I, that's hey, fine. There you go. I, all I'm, things I love. I'm in. I'm in on uh, all of those things. Wow, yeah. That, as a yeah, man who's had a pack hungry. of crackers for lunch, that looks really good. I can make a pizza now. That's all wow. you have for lunch? Why? Because well, well, work, man. I got the wrong lunch. I haven't night. eaten lunch well, either. But. Well, hold on. You, what are you doing that's so so important you can't stop to eat? Well, Philip, that's... You, uh, You've been yeah. around this Robertson bunch enough to know. Oh, yeah. like, this ain't nothing new. <laughs> you the only one working? Well, how many of them do you see here? Have you had? Right. To, have you have you had now to, we're getting uncomfortable. Have you had to cut anybody? Well, it'd be different if they listened. But hey, they don't. All right, this is uncomfortable. So I got one thing to ask before we go to break. Go ahead, Sai. What do 
You believe now? Coach Prime, baby. <laughs> Do you believe? Oh, you didn't believe yesterday, and no, now you, you want – Oh, okay. I forgot. You oh. believe. Coach hey. Prime. No, I think it was just a mistake. Three touchdown <laughs> do- underdogs, and they won outright. Coach I, Prime. Prime I, time. I'm declaring hey, it. Hey, all of them get lucky. Hey, now, Coach. Let's, I'm going to check him out one more game. Coach, you come have this seat anytime you want. <laughs> anytime. Right. Let's Coach take Prime our, rules. Let's take our first break, <laughs> hey. and we'll, we'll Coach Prime ourselves That's on right. out of here. Now, Cy, si, this 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 is probably not going to mean a whole lot to you, but did you know that quality sleep is one of the best things we can give ourselves? Mm-hmm. Knows that? No, I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> but he does it. Cy si oh. has been sleeping. Cy si is his own personal hatch. He doesn't even need the hatch because he can sleep eighteen out of twenty four hours, no problem. Yep, boys. But for the rest of us that but have things no- like jobs, yeah, normal and children, <laughs> normal um, people, where you need a night full of restful sleep, the folks over at Hatch can help you get that. Look, the all new Hatch Restore Two. Is it's it is awesome. I've had it for like two weeks. Now we have four hatch products in the Martin household. Uh-oh. So I got um, four. We got four. We got one for everybody. Tri- got one. We, uh, everybody got one. Well, Jack didn't get one for the dog. Jackson and Waylon split one. The dog sleeps in the bed, so she gets to uh, get on ours. Okay. But, um, but no, we have the new all new hatch restore too, and it is like your bedside sleep guide, your ally and rest. It it is really cool. You can set alarms and lights and all sorts of things for different times of the day to help you know when to wind down, like what's your favorite, what's your target bedtime. But good rest allows you to be the best version of yourself, which is why the hatch restore two was engineered to help you form healthy sleep habits for life. Your hatch teaches your body when it's time to sleep and when it's time to rise with light and sound cues. It coaches you through meditations and mindfulness exercise that transforms the time before and after sleep into restful rituals. With hatch, you'll sleep deeply with white, pink, or brown noise and other sleep sound inspired by nature. No more jarring alarms. You'll wake gently with a sunrise alarm clock that supports your natural circadian rhythm. Great sleep can't be forced, but it can be learned, and the Hatch Restore 2 is here to help. It is really cool that you can set an alarm for sunrise because if if you don't have twins whose alarm is, in fact, sunrise for somehow, (laughs) some way. Like a rooster. This could, yeah, they are. And there's no light in their room whatsoever other than the hatch green light. Hey, I might have to get my little redheaded woman to check into this. (laughs) You need help. No, no. No, no. I like the sound of it. (laughs) This thing is color coded. I I love it. If you want to try it right now, Hatch is offering our listeners $20 off your purchase of a Hatch Restore 2 and free shipping at hatch.co slash duck. Sleep deeply and wake gently with a Restore 2. Go to hatch.co slash duck to get $20 off and free shipping. That's hatch.co slash duck. Duck. Duck? I'm fixed to put my woman on this, and hey, I think oh, he didn't got excited. About I think this I'm one, gonna Martin. get me one of them just to just to try it out. Hallelujah. Martin, how about your dove hunting experience? Oh wow, no, it wasn't near as good as size, but you know, did kill a few. I, we had a very interesting whoa, <laughs> whoa, very interesting day at the camp. Nasty. Um, Nasty. so. That's a big old timber rattler. Yep. Where's his face? Well, it used to be right in front of that other spot of his body as he was all coiled mm. up. So let me tell you about Mr. Timber Rattler. Um, Where were y'all? We were down in Baskin. But the, um, so the dog starts going berserk. Billy, an Australian shepherd, the camp dog. And he only goes berserk over one thing. Snakes. Snakes. Yeah. So, and this, this rattlesnake was approximately 20 feet from the back door of the camp and about two feet from the fire pit, uh, that, and all the kids were running around. There's kids everywhere. It's opening day dove season. You know, it's like yeah. a family affair. Yeah. So there's kids running around everywhere and this rattlesnake's just sitting there coiled up. Well, Billy sniffs him out. And, um, in the meantime, Billy gets bit right in the throat by mr rattlesnake and um yeah so we we killed him and billy is recovering now recovering well so he's a big snake so apparently he didn't give him a full a full round of venom he was just trying to get the dog away from him wow and um Mm. 
So Billy's pretty fortunate on that deal. Billy's that, a dog, right? Billy's a dog. Guys, yeah. when people name their dog human uh, names, it yeah. kind of I, yeah, I was just I was like, I know it's a dog. You. I'm like, wait, this is a human. It's yeah, Billy. I was fixing to ask, is this a human or the no, dog? No, no, the Australian Shepherd yeah. Billy. It's a very Australian name. Y- yeah, Billy. <laughs> people name your dog something that doesn't get them confused <laughs> with a human being. Right, the fire department shows up uh, yelling about Billy. Foot? No, he was about five and a half. Yeah, okay. It, you know, rigor has kind of set in there. So, I mean, you know how wide a Polaris is, like a Polaris Ranger. Yeah, okay. When he's not all riggered up, he yeah. basically covers up that whole back rack, which is as wide as the Polaris. Yeah. So, he's about five and a half foot. He was, look, I tried to get him to, like, let me get a stick and get his head away from his body because he was beautiful. He had just shed his skin like a day or two before, mm. and I wanted to skin him out and put him on a board, you know, uh, <laughs> to to honor him. But Well, you sure messed up that middle what, piece. What you, yeah, they, they went ahead and got hey, He's going to take what, two boards. Are they around? He's, yeah, he's as big as your arm yeah. for sure. Uh-huh. I mean, biggin', yeah. biggin'. And I'm, this is where you were dove hunting? Uh, uh-huh. Mm-mm. Yeah, see, then I had to walk through all that grass and stuff. <laughs> no, no. It made, you were, you were. Uh, I would say this: you, you became very light on your feet during the dove hunt. You, I'd have been you running. Made, you made sure that you of where you were standing. Um, What's the deal here? Everything over here is darker. What's that? Snake wise. Yeah, he's pretty dark. He was beautiful, man. I, I really wanted to skin him and put. Cause him them over there in like Texas. Yeah. They are real, real light, light. Well, and this is a different species, yeah. too. So this is timber yeah. rattler. Yeah. So, or, you know, the the folks around here call them cane breaks. Or, yeah. But he's a timber rattlesnake. So, But he was beautiful. Man, we kill like two or three a year off of that property, and they're all that big. Like, last year I beat one to death with my fishing rod because – I was mm-hmm. walking the bank of the pond, and yeah, that yeah. old sound of the zzz, yeah. He, he's, I said a lot of people don't realize they make kind of a buzz. Yeah, it's a it's a different sound than TV yeah. portrays. Yeah. like and yeah. but I knew what it was, so I just started backing up, and then I got my rod and started parting the grass, and I found him, and I sacrificed rod and reel to make sure I didn't have to worry about him again. <laughs> uh, you broke the rod. No, I didn't break the rod. The rod actually held, but I broke the handle off the reel. I hit him so Oh, you beat him with the reel end. Well, what other end was I? I had to give some with some mm. force. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I didn't whip him enough weight. And no. Just no, I wasn't taking a chance of him getting away. I needed to stun him on that first one. And then I just kept going. Ooh, that's, that's funny. Uh, but, no, mm. I figured Sal would like that. Oh, no. But that's... Folks, it's I know we people in the springtime are very aware of snakes because it's like they're just coming out there. But look, now they're on their move to their wintering grounds, and to me, this is when I see way more of them every year. Oh yeah, yeah. Than any other time of the year. So be careful. Watch like, your feet. So like we had kids running barefoot all the way from ages twelve to one outside that could have. Yeah. I mean, could have happened, you know, but thank goodness for Billy and sniffing him out. Billy the dog. Yeah, Billy the Australian shepherd. Well, Cy told me to look for a dove for him, and I was, until it was so grassy, and I heard a little tsh, and I said, it could be the bird, it could be a snake, so I waited for the dog. <laughs> yeah, get over here. And it was just snake. a bird, so. Yeah. No, it's a uh, dove season, and that, from now till bow season is a tough time to be in the woods because oh, yeah. those rascals are on the move. They are, they're, they're, they're moving. Mm. I don't going. like snakes. Huh? Mm-mm. What would you have done? Shot it. I was looking for a stick so I'd get his head away from him. That way we could get a, that way we get a full board mount of him. No, but, I would not have been worried about no mount. Oh man, they're beautiful stretched well, out they on are the board. Pretty. I, I, but I mean just. Yeah, Cy, si, you got some snake boots. <laughs> you do yeah, have he, snake yeah, boots. Yeah, I got some snake boots. All right. Oh, yeah. I, uh, dove season is actually one time I do wear snake boots. I know that sounds weird, but when you're walking through that knee high grass that you can't see, it's through, so hot outside. Dove season, you want to wear like a tank top. Yeah, that's where people. Blocks. That's where people mess up. That's, <laughs> Get sunburned. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wear britches and snake boots, and and if it's a dirt field, I wear tennis shoes. But if there's any kind of grass and stuff around there, because you know what else is hunting them, them, <laughs> and all the rats that come to eat the grain oh, yeah. that you grew. So that there, the whole perimeter is lined with those kind oh, of yeah. things. Dove season is a good season, though. They're they're arguably the best fowl to eat. Period. Mm-hmm. There, and it it was the provider of probably the greatest moment in Duck Dynasty history. The cow blind? No, killer. Oh. 
Oh, <laughs> sign. Oh, the I've, poodle. That guy I right have, there. I poodle. have signed more of them than anything I've signed. <laughs> Man killer. I got to get this picture bigger. Yeah, I wasn't there that day. You I, weren't there? I remember the dove hunt of the when they when we built a cow blind and killed us about 15 oh, no. out yeah. of it. Yeah, that was a hoot. Yeah. That, that was, was a real hoot. We were we shooting, were duck hunting doves. doves out of a stupid cardboard or a plywood a plywood cow. Yeah, that was fun. I ain't ever dove hunted like a duck hunt <laughs> with four men sitting in there shoulder to shoulder. Yeah. We had a decoy spread out and they'd come in there and bow, 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 <laughs> boom. We killed them all too. It was wild. It was fun. Was, yeah, but that one. But you killer. didn't have old. Four people to ask me about that dog right there yesterday. Uh, the three days I dove on. Where's that poodle lab? Uh, poodle lab poodle. Yeah. Labrador. I never. I was. I said, killer. I had to send him back for remedial training. He tried to bite me. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I never. We were all at Buffalo Wild Wings watching that episode because it was a premiere. And when that camera panned over to Cy sitting beside that poodle, oh. I nearly peed my pants. <laughs> oh, hey, all of them gave me a hard time. Jace, you know, Phil, all of them with the dogs. And I said, boys, hey, what y'all don't know is, Keller would outdo every dog y'all got. Because, yep. hey, people don't realize that was a that was a hunting dog. Oh, Poodle is. Yeah. yeah. He they, was always a hunting dog. It's a they, pretty dog. And they're they're making a comeback, all them sophisticated dogs, as I call them. But when it gets yeah. right down to it, it's hard to beat a lab. Right. It's it's just it's hard to beat a lab that all was, around. We had a lab. That Labrador oh, retriever is hard. We had we had some good. Ones. Yeah, that was work. You know, that, oh, out there. Yeah, yeah. And dove season rough on a dog because it's so dry oh, and hot. Talking? They can't really use their sniffer. Their sniffer gets clogged up. Yeah, well, one of the that's dogs. That's why it was. Hey, that's why it was too much dust. Yeah, okay. their sniffer yeah, gets feel. their sniffer gets clogged yeah. up and they can't yeah. really smell them. So they got one it. was not as good as the other two. Yeah. I think. well, no, that was the yeah better better dog. Yeah. It's uh, <laughs> but I do love it. Hunting season's back. College football is back, even though there's no reason to watch LSU anymore. Right. I'm but watching it's, Duck Dynasty. Uh, it's it's my favorite time of year. Oh yeah, this is it. So it really is the best time. Of it year. really, especially is. when it gets to the Look table table <laughs> part of this. Look at old Kelly. Oh, he was a who's one of the best hunting dogs. That dog sitting by Jay's want to bite him. I can assure you. Oh, hey, we had three or four. We had three or four dog fights. Yeah. Yeah. Twice I had to just, one of them got right under me. Oh, really? One. And I had to just, <laughs> <laughs> I went up in the chair like this with my feet. Uh, Whoa, he's probably fixing to get a hold of me. Yeah, here we go. Look out. Yeah. All right, let's take another break. We'll be back right after this. Man, are y'all lucky y'all tuned into this podcast because here we're all about health, fitness, and all the... Wait, this isn't a health and fitness podcast. But we're getting healthy. But, we're getting but we there. are regular dudes who like to be healthy, and one of the best things that we do for ourselves is we drink AG1 every single morning. Hey, I drank mine this morning, and my wife drank hers, and we're excited about it. It's every awesome. day we've been drinking it. It's daily... Ne- foundational nutrition supplement that supports whole body health i gave ag one to try uh christian and sadie were drinking it they told stone to start drinking it then i started drinking it so we're all been just drinking this little product that you just put one scoop right there in a bottle of water shake it up and it's delicious and good for you drink it up ag1 was designed with ease in mind so you can live healthier and better without having to do a lot it's seriously the healthiest thing you can do in under a minute why take a bunch of different things when you can just mix one scoop of powder in water once a day? And got stuff for your immune system, Immune JD. system. Whenever you drink AG1, yeah. that's 75 vitamins, minerals, probiotics, and whole food source ingredients of high quality that give me major benefits like gut and mood support. I like my gut and my mood to be great, and this helps with that. Boosted energy and even healthier looking skin, hair, and nails. I've always looking for life hacks, and AG1 is the best for that. It's an all-in-one foundational nutrition formula that makes it easy for me to cover my nutritional bases every single day. No need for a ton of different pills, vitamins, and a whole drawer full of stuff. Boom, one jar, one scoop in water. Drink that, and you're good to go. If you want to take ownership over your health, try AG1 and get a free one-year supply of vitamin D and five free AG1. AG1 travel packs with your first purchase. Go to drinkag1.com slash duck. That's drinkag1.com slash duck. Check it out. I've noticed there's a mild change in your your look. Oh. Your beard is even. Whoa. Yeah. 
No, no, no. Hey, yeah. Look at it. It's the same on both sides. Yeah. Take the hat off. It's one level. Look how good he looks. Now, I can't talk about that hair on his head, but his beard is. Beard's been trimmed. The beard's level. I've never seen that in 15 years. So let me tell you what. Let me set it up for you. We're at Baker Outdoors. We're doing this event, and tons of people are coming through. And this lady stops and smiles and says, Si, why don't you come over to our salon and, and let us cut your hair? And she was uh, very easy on the eyes. <laughs> well, at your yeah, age, that's part of it. At your age, who isn't? Yeah, so he was like, <laughs> he was like, yeah, no. Nah. So we did the event and got through. It was a great event. We had a good time. And so Si, we get in the truck. He says, all right, boys, let's go to old Smiley over there and let me get my hair cut. I said, what? I thought you he was like, no. Nope, Smiley. Nope. I thought that was, no, that was Shaggy. Smiley. Restaurant. Man, y'all got a name for yeah. everybody. Shaggy, Smiley. What was the name of the salon? It was Beauty and the Beard. Okay, yeah, Beauty and the Beard. And so we went over. Well, you we fit got, part of it. Yeah. We got Cy in, and I actually took a video of Cy getting his hair trimmed and his beard trimmed. Did you send it to John David? I sent it to Hunter. Oh, Hunter. But Hunter, can you Hunter got put it? it on the TV? Yeah. I, I can't put it on the TV. Uh, I can't put oh. It the TV. oh, that's bad. Yeah, John Man. David has well, that, that power. That was very enjoyable while she was giving her a haircut. Yeah. And, well, and she washed and the his hair. That was doing had a, a good, real good time. She washed your hair? Oh, yeah. She washed my hair and then blew dry it with a How long, long did yeah. she wash her <laughs> hands afterwards? <laughs> yeah, what got on her shirt? she wear one of them aprons? Oh, yeah, she had an apron on. Yeah. Hey, look at his eyebrows. They're not as... as that's pointy right. as they used she to be. The they are. They're still They're thick. nice and hey, I told her, I said, That's you're real. trimming my horns. That's what my wife calls them. Uh, Hunter sent me something. What did Christine say? Uh, what did Christine say about your new look? She was shocked when Philip said, you know anything different? Uh, here you go, Oh, okay. My beard yeah. and hair trimmed. <laughs> and right there, the beauty and the beard. Oh, beauty and the beard. Okay. Hannah. Hannah's the beauty. Well, Size the beard, and these are two sisters that invited Sai to come do it. How'd y'all make him do it? I just asked him. She was just smiling. It was nice. She hit me at a weak moment. <laughs> so you ain't had a, a cut in a while, huh? Hey, I, I, I've been my hair hasn't been touched since I got out of the military. He's wearing the same size. It looks good. <laughs> so Is your wife gonna like it? Um, Can we do something over here with this? I <laughs> Uh, I learned one thing, and Martin noticed that we need a sock sponsor. Oh, uh, uh, si. I love it! Unbelievable. Is that that's the before? Where's that? I mean, we're no, obviously that's the after. Oh, that's after. That's it's the after. Even. Look, look how clean he looks. Oh, oh, we've got before pictures too. Oh, when when you were grabbing his eyebrows, I thought that meant that they hadn't quite got to. They them. probably didn't hit them yet. Oh, okay. That's all I was curious about. <laughs> So I went to a salon. A salon. Beauty and the Beard in Lubbock, Texas, huh? And there yeah, you go. We're supporting Hannah. small businesses everywhere we go, man. I love it. That's way better than like Great Clips or whatever. Hey, I met a dude about. that owns a fishing store in Lubbock, Texas the other day. You did? Lubbock, Texas has got to be a cool place. Oh, no, it, it is, is a good place. And, hey, look, I've got two cards he gave me in my wallet. I've got to get with Jeff, Jason, Murray. Okay, because uh, what? One Victor, of the guys coming through Victor the line. Victor Elmo Bobo. Yeah. Wait, come again? Victor Elmo Bobo. That sounds I, like one of Kay's dogs. Well, no, no, hey, no, no. That's just <laughs> what I thought. When he, when he <laughs> come in and sat down and he said, hey, my name's Bobo. I said, well, Bobo, it's a pleasure to meet you. Bobo, you, know? you rascal. Yeah, yeah you know? <laughs> but anyway, he's a treasure hunter. Bobo the second. Bobo is. The Three Wise Men is the name of his treasure hunting group. Well, he told me, he said, hey, you, need, you and your guys need to come home with us. You know? And I said, well, Bobo, is it, is it worth my, my trouble? And he said, hey, we got two shots. And he said, and I'm telling you, if we find what we're looking for, it's, it's millions of dollars. Did you find it? All right, well, no, no, I got to get it. Give it to Jason. Hey, see if well, they want to go to here, Lubbock. Well, Texas. here's what I'll tell you right now. <laughs> Look at that. Let me negotiate your contract. Well, hey, it's got to be around. Because you need to get a finder's fee. Well, no, no, That's hey, right. here's the deal. We're going to do this around the 1st of September. Okay, <laughs> I need to be on site then. <laughs> yeah. yeah you, do. you need yeah. to make this trip, okay, because yeah. it's going to be I need to be a on double site. dope option. Yeah. And they call it okay. Little Argentina. Yeah. We're going to go, okay. And the reason I said around 1st of September is that one. That's when it opens in Texas, doesn't mm-hmm. it? So Little we're going to make this a dual What's double, funny? Double pop 
Double dope. I'll go with y'all and watch a soccer game if it's Argentina. <laughs> Dove Hunt hey, and help us cook. No, Lubbock is like, I was telling Cy before we got started, because I, I didn't know where y'all went. Mm. I had an event out in Lubbock probably seven, eight years ago. I don't know. And they, I got there super early because of flights from here and whatever. And the guys were like, what you want to do? I said, is it? I, I, I said, well, I noticed on the way from the airport to here, there's a lot of doves on power line. Mm-hmm. I was like, is it dove season? <laughs> he said, yeah. So we shot doves in the back of the church, <laughs> in the back in the back lot at the church. Hey, right man. Next, right next door to it was like a Milo processing facility. Uh, oh, yeah. That's so we all the food in the country that they needed was right there, and we shot. That's back when collared doves didn't go against your limit. Yeah. Man, they still, oh, they still don't. They, I didn't know if yeah. they did out yeah. there or not. Yeah. But, nope, they still don't. Yeah. So you could shoot as many collared doves as you wanted. And we shot a pile a, of like, them. He's the size of a pigeon. Yeah. Yeah. And eats, big old dove. Eats about like a pigeon, too. Yeah, well, oh, he, really? He ain't he's like. Tough yeah. And, yeah. He's a little bit tougher and we had not three quite species, as. Morning, white wing, and the collar. Yeah. Those no. mornings and white wings are good. No. The white, white wings, wings came out a little bit later in the morning. Yeah, and they fly a little bit higher and then just dive bomb you. Yeah, they, yeah. and they like, spin around when they they, they moving, too. Yeah. yeah. The first two mornings, we had just a light breeze, maybe a, a mile an hour. Yeah. It kicked up there the last day about five. and yeah. you know, It's one shot. If you don't kill him, you ain't killing him. Yeah. <laughs> them white wings going. come from up there, yeah. and when they pin them back, here they come. Oh, no. They're like teal. Yeah. They fly high, and then when they decide to come down, they come down, and here they it, come. Uh, it's fast. Yeah. yeah, they're fast. Yeah. No, no. But, well, I'm glad you had a good time. Oh, no. Whacked you a bunch oh. of doves. You you good for teal season now. Oh, yeah. Them fine yeah. eating things. Me and Stone fixed to head down to Josh Galtz for a little oh. marsh blue wing teal shooting. It's so how long are you going to keep playing this? I don't know how much longer I get. I'm going to go to all these hot holes every year. You think <laughs> after about six, seven years, they cut you they cut you loose on it. But <laughs> He's got the hot holes. No, I, I, I know why, because he's a lot of daggum fun to hunt with. That's yeah, why they, that, the only people that don't like hunting with him is his nephew. So. Well, hey, they invited <laughs> Jace to come, and Sai si said. Field and Jace, I don't ever kill nothing. I ain't ever. Sai si said he wasn't going to let Jace come on this which is on a, hunting trip. Oh, which, I would take him to, to the marsh with me, but hey, no. Nah, I side to side against us. Wait a minute. We have fun when I go. If I bring Jace, he's the fun killer. <laughs> So, no, you don't get invited, clown. No, you're out. He's you're a clown. Out. I'm just glad we finally brought your brother to the dark side. Hey, there you go. He's shooting a 20 gauge. Hey. He took a case of my 20 gauge shells home with him the other day. <laughs> hey, you can kill him just as far as 20 gauge, boys, if you own them. We don't shoot them far, so it don't matter. Well, that's the thing. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. But you can kill them as far. You can. If yeah. you're on them. Absolutely. Because yeah, I always say, well, I wasn't on nothing. <laughs> that always you know, makes Jace me laugh. Said, no, he was out there about 80. I said, Jace, I said, I've killed him at 125 yards, son. <laughs> Get your lead right. Get your lead right. So we, did, we didn't fly to Lubbock. We yep. drove. That's a ride. Yeah. That's a long ride. Yeah, and so I jump. slept most of the time in that's the back. No, I didn't. I laid back there in that pickup, beat me to death. <laughs> Even and in Jimbo, Texas? A ride. Uh, what has he got, a ram? Yeah. Yeah, ride ain't there. Yeah. Yeah. There you go, Ram. That Ford spoiled me. Sometimes you see some things. I was was only trying to get Hunter to spit drink (laughs) because I saw him take a big gulp of his drink. I was just trying to get him to spit on his computer screen over there. Again. And and almost got him. (laughs) But the real question is, why didn't you get her number for Hunter? I mean, like, hey, Hunter likes to travel. I'm not (laughs) not going after women in Lubbock anymore. Uh, No. Anymore? Yeah, I tried that once. not doing it again. Hey, Uh, no, me and Si met a girl. And we think that y'all be perfect for each other. We interviewed her and took pictures with her. So you send might... the photo. I sent him the video and a photo. Hey, this Hi. is Hannah. I'm Hannah. I'm from Lubbock, Texas. I listen to y'all all the time. Okay, that's all I got. You, now, are you single? Do you want me to tell? I am. Uh, remember our producer, the one we're always trying to get on a date. Remember that yes, guy? Yes, I am Hunter, single. Hunter. Hunter. Yes, I am single. Hunter, look, Hunt. <laughs> oh, private. Part. He's, he's he got going, all of it. I have a thing he ain't against showing girls in Lubbock, Texas now. 
Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. A girl from Lubbock it hurt you hard, man. Oh, so hard. <laughs> okay. Sounds, that's, hey, yeah. I agree with moving on from that place. If yeah. That's if that's how you feel. Oh, well, I sound like to be getting into a country song. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Left his heart in Lubbock. All well, my exes lost are in my Texas, love baby. in hey, Lubbock. Let's head back to Lubbock, baby. Yeah. <laughs> well, you don't want He's hey. never going back. Hunter said it was right. Let's go back. back. Do the basics. Oh, my goodness. Si what told a weird a story episode. in Lubbock. Right. How was the event, though? It was good. Oh, we had wrong. about all oh, the store was about six hundred. Yeah. What were y'all doing? So, this yeah. a Just store here. Meat and great. Oh. Yeah. Okay. What kind of store was it? Huh? Uh, outdoor. Outdoor. Store. Baker's Outdoors. Yeah. Is that your buddy? Mm, I, no. I don't know Baker's Outdoors. I don't. Yeah. I only know it because Phil's got it written on his cheat sheet over here. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> but he's got it written big <laughs> enough. Oh, and that I, I want to give it. a shout out to uh, Sam Cruz. A lot of people ask us about the podcast. But this guy was, he listens to us all the time. He loves all you guys on here. Well, so. thanks, Sammy. Did y'all stop at Bucky's? Yes. Oh, no. Yeah. I, I got to tell y'all. And you come back empty handed? Well, no, we didn't go in. Why? Because there were thousands of people at I, Bucky's. Just too many. Well, yeah. It took so us I can't forever to get That's gay. exactly right. No, so I it can't took go us in. forever to get gay. Oh. Yeah. We had to sit there for like 30 minutes just to get the game. I will say this. Every time Hunter drives by Bucky's, he brings us something. So That's true. You're welcome. Yeah. You're Can welcome. I say something? You're no, welcome. I got to say something. Go ahead. Um, A guy named Kevin came in my store today. He's from Baton Rouge. He listens to the podcast. Mm -hmm. He gave us a whole cow worth of beef jerky. It's a ton. And he homemade it. It's all vacuum sealed. And that's I need to get this off my chest. I don't see it anyway. I got here and I realized I forgot. <laughs> hey, he forgot oh. to bring it. And as the man hey. who I know to be a beef jerky connoisseur, yeah. I've only I'm, eaten I'm, one I'm, bag. I'm assuming we'll never see it. Yeah. So I, I do need to let y'all know, Kevin brought all y'all beef jerky, and I have it, and I plan on getting it to y'all. Mm -hmm. That's fine. There's, well, been, the there's been snack okay. show up here, y'all ain't ever even. How was it? About How was it? I believe it. You ate one bag. It's already. really good, is okay. the thing. Okay. So yeah, yeah I, I, I. That's what I wanted to know. I would hundred percent meant to bring. Y'all don't know a how, mu how yeah. much it is. Yeah. I meant to bring some for everybody. But a cow skinned out and dried will make a lot of bags. So you done told on yourself that he gave it's you a, a cow. It's a hefty amount. A hefty amount. It, it ain't a whole cow, but. You gonna put six ninety? Kevin didn't go stingy on it. You gonna put six ninety nine on it and sell it at the counter? <laughs> That's not worth yeah, way more. If you boys want it, come operate out of that left pocket. <laughs> hey, no, hold on. That stuff worth way more than six ninety. That's good, man. They're oh, real good. Oh man, Anyways. I love it. How was y'all's business tax free weekend on outdoor stuff? Do y'all get in on that? No, nah, that's hunting stuff. It's just hunting. The fishing don't count. Fishing don't. It's not. It's hunting season. Yeah, I, I didn't know if if all outdoor stores got. We were busy though. That was the busiest Labor Day weekend we've ever had because it finally you don't melt. I mean, if you drive a truck, you have to do it naked, so it's still that hot. But <laughs> people are going back outside again. I can honestly say I don't think I've ever driven a truck topless, but I well. In the summer, I may have. I, I, you ain't never been swimming? Just hop in the truck, back take to the off. house? Do I strike you as a swimmer? Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. somewhere we have a that misread. Hurts. <laughs> he loves swimming, boys. I don't mind wading. Yeah. I'm not wading, much on swimming. I love a good swim. Yeah, I'm not a swimmer. I, I can stay alive, but that's about all I need to know about swimming. I no. like swimming. You don't like swimming? Mm -mm. No, I, I don't mind wading, but that's about, about it. You don't do like dives and cannonballs? Mm -mm. No, I step in on the shallow end. Uh, I, I get to where the water, like if I get on my knees, it's up to my neck where I can just kind of relax cool. there and call it good. Yeah. But, John David, you're on to something because I have seen him do a cannonball. Si was floating on a raft. I did do that. In the Bahamas. He yeah. jumps off the diving board and did a cannonball to bury Si. I did do that. Woo. Yeah. Well, that's and an opportunity you can't pass up. Yeah, there's no more I joy. Mean, and I, I, I think, thought a Tasumi had hit. Is yeah. that the name of yeah. it? Oh, hold on. A what? A Tasumi. A Tasumi, definitely. Hey. It's wrong, wrong. That's wrong for now. No, that's no, it. No, that's it. That's Tasumi, it. yeah, that's Tasumi. right. No, you were right. I Martin. thought you said tsunami, which would have been incorrect. That's what I Tasumi. I knew I said it wrong. So no tsunami, yeah, yeah. Somewhere yeah. Paula Godwin's got a picture. Of that. Oh yeah, she sends it She's to me every it. She once put it on in a while. Facebook. Yeah, that's funny. That's, that's funny. a good time. That, now I will if I see the opportunity. Yeah, you're not do gonna something pass that like up. that. I'll, I'll do it. But hey. no, for the most part, I'm a shallow end. Get on my knees. Try to avoid the sunburn as much as possible. Oh, I'm not getting sunburned. Yeah, I'll wear socks on the beach yeah. before I get my feet sunburned. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Have you ever worn socks on the beach? No. You should. Try it out. <laughs> Try it out. It'll keep you from getting sunburned. Keep you from getting sunburned. It's not that bad. Yeah. That's what they should have named that drink. Socks on the beach is <laughs> so- fantastic. <laughs> Well, this beach, guy, man. he's he come in here. He hadn't been around people all weekend. <laughs> he had. Like, it getting, was Labor Day weekend. Hunter was just watching his motion pictures. <laughs> we're getting. I went hunting on a Saturday morning. He did actually. You went dove hunting. I did go dove hunting. I I'm got, the only person in the room that hadn't been dove hunting. I got attacked by a hawk. It was really funny. Did you send me that video? Uh, yeah, he sent not, it to it's all. It's not much of a video. I just he sent it to all of us. It's way zoomed in. Yeah, like, you got attacked by a hawk. Yeah, one uh, flew down to get the dove that I was retrieving. Oh, oh okay. Oh, Got him. How goes that? Hey, the field mouse is fast. Yeah, but Hunter's faster. <laughs> so Hunter's but the Hunter, big... but Hunter got his dove taken from him. <laughs> no, I got it. And then my, oh. my grandfather threw it back because he wanted to see the uh, hawk get it. Which, and he got it. Yeah, and he got it. Yeah. See, if you were on a date, you could have sent her out to go get the dove. Boys, this is the life, okay? Go out and kill 45 birds, 50, okay? And then somebody else cleans them. Okay, you can't beat that. Are those people in the back of the truck cleaning all the birds oh, you yeah. kill? Oh, oh yeah. my word. Yeah. Hey, that's good duck. He, ha- he is yeah. peaked. <laughs> that's good duck commander branding what on a the back glass, though. Good yeah. job. Hey. hey, I'm proud of you. Yep. There you go. Anyway, emails? Emails. Hello email. at duckcallroom.com. That's the email address. Here's an interesting one from Darren. Darren's ma- Darren's playing a game of Would You Rather with us, and I'm going to... I'm. Okay. Maybe we should tag along. I'm interested. Darren's from Gaffney, South Carolina. Big fan of the show. Cacolac. We have to drop one of the following. All right. Our wives, Darren, that's Never. a silly one to throw in there. Football, mm-hmm. hunting, or fishing. Got to get rid of one. Football's out. Now, does this mean I, I got no problem dropping playing football? Yeah, so it's the no. only one I can't do. Yeah, I quit so. that at 14. <laughs> I'm I think good. it's watching football. Is it watching football? Yeah, it's got to be because well, none probably, of us are still Well, you probably drop football. hunting. You don't really like the cold anyway. You can drop fishing. No, I ain't dropping. Because oh. that's your business model. My livelihood yeah. there. Um, si, which one are you dropping? Football, hunting, or fishing? Or Christine? <laughs> hey, the redhead state, son. Oh, oh I didn't right. know where. Yeah, it started off. <laughs> that could have went. That could have went anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so redhead, no, the redhead state. state. Football's out. Okay, I don't know what side. No, I, I could do it without football. Okay, okay, fishing and hunting. No, yeah, they they're in. Philip, don't lie, Philip. I'm not gonna don't lie. lie to fit in. I'm not gonna lie to fit in. All right, I'm dropping fishing. There it is. I, I he don't ever go anyway. Yeah. I go. I don't catch him. Well, yeah. hey, that's why you don't go. He goes fishing, That's not why. Catching. That's why Philip doesn't want to go fishing. He wants to go catching. So. <laughs> I know. I'm the only person in the room that didn't go dove hunting and hunters in here, so it just makes hey. sense for me to say hunter. That's yeah. not a, I'm good for you, man. <laughs> that's a good question. Yeah. I go in the outdoors sometimes, most of the time. <laughs> He just I, said I go in the outdoors. I go in the outside. <laughs> he goes outside. I'm an outdoorsman. Place, With the trailer park girls. Right and true. <laughs> go around the outside. Around the outside. Around the outside. <laughs> so that's really not yes, that hard back. Of a decision. <laughs> no, 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 no. Why did we just drop in Miss mm. Cheney's heart problems? Complicated. Um, <laughs> John David. Look, the FCC won't let me be. Um, so let me be. Here's, a, uh, here's one from Riley. I don't know how we got here. Wait, I got uh, to ask you a question. Uh, would would John David get rid of his bidet, his Rolex, or pizza? Oh, uh, bidet! If he had, if he had oh, to drop one, he will go to wiping again so fast that it make your head. Spin. Your Rolex that your grandfather gave That's you. That's a bidet. Gotta that. pizza? Or pizza. Do I get to sell any of these? <laughs> <laughs> you got to give one up. Get a new you car. Just got to drop. Uh, <laughs> give one up forever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, bidet. He's out. I mean, toilet paper. It's been around for a minute. Yeah, it That's works. Easy. There's no way you're going back. And like, dude wipes has made baby wipes for men cool. I'm thinking again, pizza. So. Pizza? No. No, he ain't giving oh, up pizza. No, bidet's out. That's yeah, bidet's out. Yeah, that's easy. Yeah. I see. I see. That's easy. I knew that one. <laughs> Grandpa's watch, the greatest food ever invented, or yeah. just cleanliness? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just I like being water? clean, but I ain't sold on it. <laughs> <laughs> I good. smell real bad. As a guy who right used now. to work it, directly next door to him, I can concur that that statement yeah. is true. Clean's so, cool, but yeah. it ain't got we not ain't got necessary. 
I'm kind of like Phil, Robertson. Um, here's one from no, Riley. I mean, he's never given clean a try. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Riley uh, emails in. We're we're gonna stick to we're in the greatest time of year. Well, we're a month away from the greatest time of year. Yeah, we're so close though. We're we're like entering into it's football. Yeah. That's it's first hunting. quarter. Yeah, it's the weather is changing or allegedly it's gonna. I mean, change. it rained yesterday. So it rained that's a big yesterday. Deal here right now. So so we're sticking with this. Riley says her family are big LSU and Tennessee fans. She's got a lot of LSU fans on one side, a lot of Tennessee fans on the other. Well, I thought I was the only one in that. No, you're I in. I think so. You, uh-huh. They got a lot of heartbreak coming up. That's a lose-lose. Yeah. And so they root yep. for each other. They're like you. You root for Brittany's side. Brittany roots for your side. And um, right now, all I got to say is Rocky Top. Baby. Yeah, well, here we go. The Hold LSU on. side of her family is off the rails about <laughs> oh, about. about the old loss to the Seminoles. Um. And, you know, Vols fans are Vols fans. Yeah. They are who they are. Yeah, they're eternal optimists, yep. which I can appreciate. So how does she console her football-loving family? She's tried to tell them it really doesn't matter. Uh, nothing worth uh, fretting over a football team losing, but it, that just seems to frustrate people. <laughs> <laughs> Riley, people are immature, is my... Yeah, I agree. Oh, no, I just... The only people that can meet that like can really be like physically upset are the ones playing the game. The rest of us that are fans, mm. just deal with it, move on, realize it's a bunch of 18 to 20-year-old kids. and It's always another game. Who are now making a fortune in college. Good for them, by the way. And uh, no, let, who cares what? I mean, I don't let – look, LSU got their brains beat in mm-hmm. Sunday night. You know how long that affected me? Just until you went to sleep? Yeah, I, I didn't even let it get me there. I didn't even have it that long. I was like, well, that sucks, and go to sleep. What's yeah. next? Yeah. What, who you we, just be like me. Yeah, who we got next week? I'm a Grambling? Colorado Oh, fan. we win next week. It'd be <laughs> fine. Who? It, don't we have Grambling? LSU, LSU I think, has got Grambling this week. Uh, we have Are you Nebraska. kidding me? Oh, I think that's right. No, we're playing Nebraska. Oh, Colorado? Yeah. I'm I had Coach to, Prime, man. I got to pick that game <laughs> I've this jumped week. ship. So. He has left us. Oh, Coach Prime. I'll root for Coach Prime. I will, too. And no. there's a lot of people around college yeah. football I just root for because I like them. Like, you know, so it's. I just root against Texas and Alabama. That's the only thing. And then when I got they a, win. I got a real hard stance against those two and Notre Dame. So. Man. I don't I, the, have a the team big franchises. Really of the, I don't want Notre Dame. They ain't done nothing to you in forever. Well, that's what I'm talking about. But then they always talking about them come December. <laughs> they ain't done nothing, but they, they always talking coach. about them. Yeah, I think people, and I used to be this guy, Riley. Not with, uh, no, he's a saint. The Saints would not with the, not with the, you know, the Saints would have you shook up till the next Saturday. Well, that's because it was always the referees' fault. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> referees' fault. Um, no, I, there is a thing where people get too into it, and you just got to give them space because this is gonna come. People are gonna get pissed when I say this. It's immaturity. Honestly, and I used to be super immature thinking I could make a difference being upset or mad. Just it, people got to learn, like, just enjoy it. You ain't nothing you do is going to change it. There's no. always another game. You can either on. enjoy it or you can be a little sad that Stefan Diggs caught that pass and Marcus Williams fell down and they, he ran to the end zone with seven seconds left. And it could irk you for the rest of your life or you could just move yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> and that flag should have been thrown too. <laughs> but uh yeah it's you just got to give them space and say look if they want to be immature and be upset about something let them be hey ellis you ain't got nobody to blame that one on but themselves Mm -hmm. to to quote coach kelly what do you say we're not the team i thought we were well (laughs) yeah you yeah you and the rest of the people that voted us up to number five when i saw that preseason ring Mm -hmm. i was like "Uh." did he say it with that cajun accent that he does sometimes i don't know how he said it probably with a very defeated somber mood i would hope but but i agree you got to keep moving me and si listened to that game and we talked about it for a minute we turned it off in the fourth quarter (laughs) it was over and then hey we were singing country music all the way home we let it go yeah, I the Saints. If they lose on Sunday, I'll be like, whatever. Like Brit- I've matured out of the like. This and is Brittany gonna ruin the rest of my day. Yeah, Brittany will be happy. They're playing the Titans. Yeah, don't let it. Don't give it so much power over you that it ruins. It your is day. a hobby. Yeah. yeah, it is the same thing as going fishing and getting skunked. Yeah, yeah. No it's gonna deal. happen. The odds of your team winning it all are real low. Just yep. deal with it. So I said they didn't show up, boys. No, they they did show up and then they left about halfway through. <laughs> well. Look how bored he is. Yeah. No, <laughs> oh, we're talking football. <laughs> he's See, he done told you he'd give it up. Did you give it up? I gave it up. Oh, yeah. He's on hunting. 
And fishing. And loving every day. Yeah. Well, you want to send us out of here? We at the we at the point where we can go or we can stay for one more. It don't matter to me. Your choice. Dealer's choice. Dealer's choice, boys. It's how you call it. Should I stay or should send I? Send us out with a Bible verse. Send please. us out with a Bible verse. I don't have one. I'm going to take a second. Oh. Hey, you know what I do when I'm not ready for that? I just go to my mail, my daily email. Uh, this is dad. the duck call room email. I haven't read this one oh. today. This one's sight unseen. My dad sends me a email every morning before I'm awake, more than likely. Here it is. Just kick the day off in, a, in the right way. Let's see. From Big Dave, this is at 5.32, so I was about to wake up, but not yet. First John 3.18, dear children, let us not love the words or speak, let us not love with words or speech, but with action and in truth. The most powerful message we give seldom is with words, rather the way we treat others. That's what my dad told me this morning. That's what I'm telling y'all today. Go out there and love somebody That's with right. your actions, not with your words. That's right. See y'all next time. I can dig it. We'll see y'all next time. Right here We're on the dark car. I knew that you could. See ya.